There's one conspicuous absence from Logic's rich palette of effects plugins, and that's a tape saturation plugin. Now, we've seen many third-party developers create them over the years, like McDSP, Waves, Universal Audio, Slate, to name a few. And the newest to the party is SoftTube with their new plugin called, not surprisingly, Tape. And I have to say this may finally ultimately be the holy grail of tape emulation plugins. One thing I really like about it is it's easy to use transparently. If you just want that subtle tape vibe and warmth, you can use this basic interface, set some basic controls, and you're done. If you want to dig in and get more color, there's a panel on the side with some more controls that really allow it to add a nice sheen and polish to the mix. So let's look over the interface quickly and then we'll put it to work. Now we have metering here where we can toggle between the input level here and this will just show the signal hitting the meters and we can always adjust the input level here manually so that we can control how hot it's hitting this whole algorithm. Let me just close this up again. So we can meter that or we can toggle to the total harmonic distortion metering and see how much of the actual saturation we're driving. In my opinion, you just want the needle to move a couple of dB if you want to get a subtle effect. And we have an amount knob, which again, simply put, you just dial in the amount of the tape saturation you want. There's three different models to choose from that emulate different types of tape decks. And we can control the speed here. And we have 15 inches per second and 30, which are the normal ones we're used to, seven and a half. But we can go down to three and one and a half for some really gritty, almost distorted type of signals, depending on what you're feeding through it for some real color that's interesting. Now, I think for a mainstream use of where we think and how we think we want to use tape saturation, I'm happy with 15 or 30, but we have a choice here. Now, in the extended parameters here, we have a dry wet mix, which is self-explanatory and gives a lot of flexibility so we can drive it hard and then just dial a bit in. And this is interesting. We can add some wow and flutter with this speed stability knob. And what's great about it is we can you know, get a really detuned pitched chorusing effect. But when you combine it with the dry wet mix, you can get a nice tape kind of chorusing that's, I think, kind of interesting. And now this, I really like, which may be these two here, maybe the best features on the plugin. We have high frequency trim, which allows us to boost past 12 o'clock and really add a polish and sheen onto the high end by adding some nice saturated highs. And when we dial it down, we get more of that classic tape effect where there's warmer, richer, low end, and the highs are rolled off slightly. So we can roll it down or boost the highs above 12. And finally, we have crosstalk, which is interesting. It allows for crosstalk in the case of stereo tracks or multi-channel tracks, where we can get a bit of crosstalk happening between the channels. So it kind of smears the stereo spread to give a cohesive glue kind of effect. So let's listen to this in a couple of scenarios. And then at the end, we'll look at this run stop feature, which gives us a really nice tape stop effect, which is a nice bonus. And the analog button allows us to add some analog properties, but without any of the unpleasant aspects of it. So here it is on some drums. I'm going to start with it off and then put it on and I'll show you how I've adjusted it. So I've got a nice amount hitting the meters. Just a little bit there. Either of these tape speeds are fine for me. But here we can really add some sheen to the hi-hat. or dull it a bit. I'm going to add a bit. And the crosstalk blends or unifies the stereo mix of these drums. I like a lot on this one. Now I've put it on a guitar track as well. Let's listen to this. And here it is. And again, I'll start with it off. So you can hear I've got some of the chorusing going on. I've got the lowest setting here, and I'm not sure if I'm going to keep it there, but just to show you the effect of how we get a bit of grit. I'll boost it up there. And here I've got this, and I'll put up the wet mix, and you'll hear the effect of it. So you get that imperfect tape speed thing, but I'm going to dial just a bit of it in. And then I'll push this harder. A bit of a high-end boost. Duller. A bit 
brighter. Let's look at it on the brass bus that I have here. It's a couple of brass instruments, and again, I'll solo it. So I'm not hitting it too hard. I've got it all the way up. Nice boost on the high end and some crosstalk. So nice extra brightness added on. And finally, I have it on the master bus here. So let's look at this one. And in this case, I'm using it a little more subtly and I'm dialing this off to, I don't want to say undo, but counterbalance some of the bright boosts that I have on the individual instruments. This will add a bit more of the warmer part of the tape type of signal. I'm using different models on these just for different colors. So not too hard. Just a little bit. 30 IPS. That's on the whole mix. But dialing back a bit works nicely. And some crosstalk. And finally, let me select all of these and we'll listen to these with the tape on and off. We'll start with them off and then I'll put them all on. So it has a real nice sheen and polish to the mix that you don't get from traditional tape plugins. Here I've got the master bus instance open and I'm going to put this into latch mode and we can just hit the run and stop buttons and automate a really cool tape stop effect. Transport still running. I'll switch back to read mode and it'll play back those automated moves and it's as simple as that to get a tape stop effect. So that's the new tape plugin from SoftTube. I think it's a real winner. Check it out. You won't go wrong. Tape saturation, the holy grail, and the last missing link in Logic's fantastic plugin collection. Thanks for watching.